Hello, I thought it'd be rather fun to try and see if I could make a linear tracking turntable that worked well and uh, sounded good and, and looked good. And uh, here it is, this is my entirely homemade turntable. Let's have a listen. Okay, so here's the turntable. It uh, uses LED display at the front and quite a funky uh, alphanumeric display. And the mechanism and everything, all the casing is all homemade. And the way it works is the tone arm pivots like a normal tone arm on a normal record player, except that it only moves a small amount and an optical sensor detects this and moves the carriage along at the back end. So if we watch closer, you can see the carriage moving along in increments. And I later found out this is how the Technics one works. Uh, quite pleased with that. If you look closer, you can see the carriage just inching along. So the arm pivots on its bearing as normal, and then it triggers the opto sensor, and that causes the motor to track the back end along. Now, if we look closely, we can we can see the motor just moving intermittently there, so that the carriage is kept moving along more or less in line with the arm. And there's a bit of acceleration deceleration added to the electronics, so there's no thumping as it starts and stops. There's a second motor which operates this lifting bar which lifts the arm up, and that's basically the two motors needed to uh, move the tone arm. Um, so if we just play it, so it's lowered the arm, it's playing the record. And you can see the back end moving in little increments. And then we we'll press fast forward, and now it lifts the arm and moves it along. And when we get to the place, we can release the fast forward button Press play, and it resumes playing. So the base of the turntable is um, there's a plywood base um, with aluminium rear chassis and hinges, and a circuit board at the front, which contains a PIC microcontroller, which I've programmed in C, and uh, did all the PCB layout and everything machined all the buttons and uh, there's the very nice Hewlett Packard display from 1975 would you believe um, so I was quite pleased to get such a vintage part into my design and it's actually made of ceramic and glass and there's not even any plastic in it um, and the poor little PIC microcontroller is spending most of its time running the multiplexing this display because it's so simple you have to light all the dots up on and off intermittently. Um, it's called strobing or multiplexing. But yeah, the microcontroller is spending most of its time running the display and very little time actually playing the record. Um, but yeah, so it's quite nice to get such a vintage component in operation. There it is. I hope you uh, enjoyed having a quick look at that and uh, I shall carry on enjoying and listen to the music. Thank you very much.